Alright guys, this one's going to be a quick one on picking technique, and this mainly aims towards lead playing, but I will say for beginners, you know, for the most part, find whatever you're comfortable with, but if you're holding the pick at too weird an angle, you know, like that, or like that, it will change the sound of the way you're playing, you know, so be conscious of it to a certain degree, don't worry about it too much if you're a beginner, just try to play, focus on getting all the main basic skills down, you can refine this later. So, you know, I used to really strum like that, you know, sort of almost side off. You know, I don't know if you can see it too well, my apologies if you can, but yeah. For the most part, I recommend trying to strum with the pick straight at the strings, but once more, whatever you're comfortable with will work. For lead playing, however, the way you hold the pick has a drastic effect on the way you will play. And I mean drastic, I didn't realise this for the longest time. Let's say I used to pick like uh, that, with the thumb in that sort of shape. This really limited my playing, drastically. I used to be able to pick okay, you know, you know, but only across the one string, you know, we're mainly talking alternate picking here. And looking at a lot of my idols, like Eddie Van Halen, he picks with it same sort of way, you know, with the thumb, that kind of shape, and he picks in an odd way, but besides the point of this video, but yeah. And you could hear it in him, he couldn't do some of the things that I've seen other guitar players like Paul Gilbert do when he's doing the alternate picking stuff. They hold the pick in drastically different ways. It affects how the pick hits the strings and how smoothly you're going to be able to pick. And certainly across strings, because when you're moving across strings, it's a different thing. You have to lift the pick away. You're not just... Again and again, you have to... And move the pick over to the next string. And this seems like a small detail, but when you're picking that quick, you know, just that kind of thing, it adds up and it can it can screw you up when you're doing this stuff so like i say listening to a player like eddie van halen picking versus paul gilbert and especially when paul gilbert's doing all that kind of three note per string stuff and i'm not that brilliant at it but yeah just all that kind of the way you hold the pick makes a drastic difference the the short summary is you have to bump the thumb outward it moves the pick to an angle that allows you to actually move quickly and efficiently between the strings. That's about it. If you want to learn more about it, go watch Troy Grady's videos. I think that's his name. I'll look it up, and if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the link below. I'll correct myself, but yeah, go look up his videos, particularly his Cracking the Code videos. It goes pretty hardcore with the details. It's very into it. If you're passionate about it, it's great. If not, it might be a bit overwhelming, but the key point is bump the thumb outward. Look at the way you're you know, your idols are playing, you know, your ideal guitar players that you want to play like yourselves, look at what they're doing, take note of it. You know, it may, it's probably not a conscious choice, but it all adds up. So yeah, that's about it. Like I say, it's not really for beginner players, but, you know, it's something to bear in mind now that I've got the pentatonic scale. Uh, yeah, the pentatonic scales up. So yeah, that's about it. Feel free to ask me questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.